So Maluki got mad at me because I told Killua his secret that he still shits the bed and then I called him Nikakodo. I thought it was funny but apparently he didn't because he has no sense of humor. Fucking snowflake. Maluki went to tell on us because we were laughing at him, but mum didn't do anything Lmeo. So ever since then, Maluki's been really bitchy around all of us. He even tried to make a rude remark to mum but she turned that shit back on him real quick. Mum, um, your wig's completely falling off right now. You have a hole in your pants and I can see your doo-doo. Maluki can throw fits like a little bitch boy all he wants but when you bring my wig into the conversation, I ain't holding back. So we went to apologize. At least my apology was genuine. Come on, he shits his bed. How do you expect me not to make fun of him for that? So, yeah I'm really sorry I told Killua your shit secret. And also I'm sorry I called you Nikakodo. Yeah, and I'm sorry for laughing. I won't forgive you guys right away, but I appreciate that you apologized. This is getting kinda awkward now. Yeah. So Milupi. Lumeo how's all in? <laughs> so as we went to apologize to Milupi, Killua made another Nikakodo joke and bitch I couldn't hold in my laugh. Very funny Tammy, don't start laughing. Oh, you want it first? Take your shoes off. I just knew those little shits weren't being genuine with their apology. I mean I can expect it from Killua but you too Alumi. You got two faces bitch. And neither one is pretty. I realize now that my laughing kinda ruined the atmosphere and I made Maluki very mad. <laughs> then Killua took it one step too far. Maluki went to walk out, and Killua said, Lumeo you go in to clean your sheets. Then Maluki and Killua got in a fight. I will literally <laughs> you up. If you mention it again, <laughs> literally, I will literally you. you up. Come here. Don't yeah. ever come at me like you that. Too, Don't, I swear to God, I'll punch you in your face. Don't Billy and Dilly. Dilly. Stop. Okay. Stop, you two. Okay. Never okay. okay. dig your nails in me like that. Hey, guys. Not gonna lie, I'm glad it wasn't me, Leo. Illumi's next. I feel really bad that I told Maluki's secret to Killua and now everyone who's watched the show. So Killua and I are going to have a sit down with Maluki and see what we can do to make this situation better. Lumeo I'm just going because I want to see what happens. Like I already apologized bitch, once should be enough for you and your snowflake ass ha 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 ha. Maluki opened up about his feelings on the matter and he got really emotional. I'm not gonna lie seeing my brother cry started to make me cry too. It just sucks it has to be so public. Because no one understands how it's I'm not just a TV show. Like, this is my life. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Bro, I had to leave the room when they started crying. Illumi's ugly ass crying face always killed me, but Maluki's too. Bitch, I had to leave before I pissed myself laughing. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> I really care for my brothers, and I just know that they love and respect me too as the oldest sibling. Bitch, did you see Illumi's face? He looked like a freshly drowned cricket. It was really nice to get all of this off my chest. Maybe my brothers aren't so bad after all. You're so easy to make insecure. Wait till I tell you about your the Luki and Killua have come to an agreement that they won't get along. You get people that are so selfish like you, it's disgusting to be related to you. But anyways, that's not important anymore. What's important is me. Hisoka invited me to dinner tonight for our anniversary but when I got there he was just acting really weird. Hey kitten, what? Damn, you looking real good tonight. Shorty, how are you making your subtitles show up like that? Don't question the language of love baby girl. But I'm not- Anyways, then I tried to ask him a serious question. I didn't like his answer. Do you remember how we met? Oh shit of course baby it was the summer of 1958 we fell in love on the beach and parted ways thinking we'd never see each other again. Unbeknownst to me you transferred to my school only to find I was part of rebellious greaser gang and I was not the man you thought you knew. You ended up having to go through a personal crisis, wondering if you should keep up your virginal act or become one of the cool kids to win me back. Did I have to change too? How could I be with you without looking like a little bitch in front of the boys? But in the end, our love prevailed. Hisoka that's the plot to Greece. Oh shit you right you right. Leo. I just can't believe that damn Hisoka. He couldn't even answer my question and he treated me horribly for the rest of the night. Hisoka how could you mistake our relationship for a 1978 musical film? Shut up bitch. What? You heard me. Bitch. He's so rude. I just can't believe him. And he looked so stupid to ha <laughs> don't believe a word he says Leo. Needless to say, my plan worked out because I still got anyways. When I got back to the house, I found my dad and Chad waiting for me. Leo, my guy, how you big with that nice young mando? A scotty face, woozy face with an even nice wavy mouth. Face rolling on the full laughing. Wait what? Come to find out, Hisoka had visited my house beforehand and hung out with my dad. Chris! It's me! I got you a glass of wine. This is like a bottle of wine in a glass. My 13th glass. 13th uh -huh. is my lucky number. Scott makes me laugh. He's the life of the party. It was a pleasure sitting down with you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. 
I just can't believe that my dad and Hisoka are buddies now all of a sudden. Dad, I thought Hisoka was like, banned or something. Mayo, bro, that was your mom who banned him. I ain't got nothing to do with that shit man making a cross sign with his arms. Face rolling on the floor laughing. But for real, my guy, he a real nice boy, distraught face. He told me about how much he likes to kill people and I just knew that. It was the start of a great friendship face with big bleeding eyes. By the way, I hope he captured my way with words correctly huffing with anger face. Also, Chad told me to tell you to ask him for the jacket back. That's Chad's favorite thing to wear because it's pretty as hell freezing blue face with icicles. Smiling face with horns. Wait, so you're the one who showed him how to talk like that. And that was your jacket? Yes. Not gonna lie, I kinda feel played right now. I don't even know why. Ayo, hey, you think it might work a second time on Illumi? Mayo Illumi got a bit dramatic about the whole situation with Hisoka face rolling on the floor laughing. Face rolling on the floor laughing. That's it. I'm going upstairs to throw myself on my bed and cry so I can pretend I'm in a Disney princess movie. Kaluto, I don't know where the fuck you are, but you better be following me with a box of tissues, bitch. I think he was making up different things to cry about to make the situation more dramatic. I honestly didn't know what he was talking about, but I just wanna be a good brother so I'll support him. <laughs> like seeing these shirts and stuff, it's just like so much, you know? It's like been so stressful. Like, it's like I'm forgetting what all of this is supposed to be about. And like seeing all those clothes, it's like, it's just like a lot to do with. And it's like hard because I can't really like be emotional in front of Chris because I don't want to be. But I hate You're that like person. on the outside it's all about like the material things and like all oh, about I all agree. of that. But there's like moments where I'm just like, <sighs> thank you. So I'm guessing Illumi forgave Hisoka because he was acting really weird today when Maluki and I invited him to lunch. Sorry I'm hey. late. I have lipstick all over my face. Why? Oh, we were just having a little makeout session in the car. Why, Is my shirt um, on right? Why would your shirt not be on right? Just one of those days. Why is it Corey here? Corey had to go home and sleep because we were up all night. You know how that goes. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. Tiramisu? I heard it was the dessert of lovers. I could rub this all over my body. Ew. You should taste this, guys. This is like a sex dessert. Stop, Stop saying sex like that. Why? It's not a dirty word. Sex! Stop. Sex! I don't think there's any help for that poor boy anymore. I think this show has spent too much time focusing on Illumi, Killua, and Maliki, so I think we should turn the focus on us, as well as mum and dad. I really want to try and fit in with the family and make up for the bonding time I never got to have with them. Aluka's kind of the outcast of the family. Even though I feel a bit envious of her, I also feel bad that she's so isolated. So I planned for us to spend some time with mum, but after she's had a few drinks in her, mum's always nicer when she's buzzed. Drinking a lot of wine. Are you getting confused? Because that's your side of the table. We should do prank calls. What? We should do prank calls. Hey, Siri. No, no. Here. Siri. Hold on. Give me your Siri. Call. Siri, could you please call the hotel? Good afternoon. This is Kara. How can I direct your call? Hello. Can I please have Khloe Kardashian's room? I don't see that I have her registered. Oh, that's wild. I think she's under a, uh, I don't know, like an, another name. I think it's something like Funny Bunny or Fred Flintstone. That's the two that I know she normally goes under. Oh my god, your prank calls honestly are the best. Mum told us that she wanted to start being healthier and more active, so we invited her to play tennis with us. You guys, I am so pumped that we're playing tennis again. We can all play, you know. Ow! Oh, sorry, that hurts. Okay, well, you're soft-headed. You ready? Ugh! What's up with the grunting? Ah! Are you okay, Mom, with this grunting? What do you mean? You Everybody like grunts when they play tennis. Ah! Mom, seriously, you don't hear yourself? What? What am I doing? Is that the kind of noise you make when balls are flying at your face? <laughs> I'm just breathing. What do you mean? Ah! Since I'm trying to be more active, I decided to go mountain biking with my husband. I mean, we own the mountain, so might as well use it, I guess. The one thing I enjoy about mountain biking, the peacefulness out there with Mother Nature. I don't know, let's go. Years ago, Chris had this beautiful tandem mountain bike made. She's been on it maybe twice. She loves working out. This could be pretty good. This might work out. Up this hill, up this hill. Come on. I told you my feet were going to get stuck. I don't want to get speed. You're scaring me. Stop it. I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. I'm feeling uncomfortable. And my ass hurts. This cannot be going any worse. Instead of making my husband's day more enjoyable, I actually made it worse. You know Once we get to the top, just the view will be worth it. Well, the only view I've had all day is of your ass. 
But it's a cute ass, isn't it funny? What are mountains for anyways? Like what do they do? Just sit there, like what? Like a rock? Fuck out of here. That comment actually really hurt me on a personal level. What you got against rocks, Kikyo? We overheard that Illumi was going to go to the beach, so we wanted to go too. Lumeo, do they really think I'd just volunteer to babysit? Like, have you met me? Do I look like I'd waste my time taking those two to the beach when I could be getting red? We waited on him to take us, but all of a sudden he said that he hurt his leg. Lumeo, they believed it too. What are you guys doing? I thought you were going to the beach. Wasn't Ken supposed to take you? No, she hurt her foot. She hurt her foot? Doing what? Running. Yeah. Kim She running? tripped over a dog. She what? Tripped over a dog? A dog. Well, why don't we do something? Okay. Why not? My sweet little girls got Kimberly flowers. Okay, let's go. You got the flowers? There's Kim. Kim? Hey, guys. What happened to your leg? I just really thought that you guys would be more offended if I said I forgot. Kim, but... you could have just told us the truth. You know, enjoy your flowers. I mean, like, that's a little dramatic. Since I was in the last episode, I thought that this would be a great time to shift the focus back to me. I've been having a little trouble with Hisoka. I think his gone obsession is going a little too far. The other day he called me because he said he had to show me something cool that he made. Well I got there only to find that it was just some gone merch that he made. I don't know what his problem is. This merch is sick as fuck. He's taking it too far. He's even mistaking random people for being gone. Oh my god, Illumi do you see that? No. It's gone. Gone 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 hey gone can I get your autograph? I'll whoop your ass! Your girlfriend looks like my mom! I'm not. Okay. I need to have an intervention. Illumi invited us and some other people to some intervention thing or something I don't know I wasn't really paying attention. So I brought everybody here, friends and family from all over the place, and I don't know how she's gonna react. I'm really, really grateful that you guys all came to be here today because I'm really worried about Chloe. Oh my god. Hey Chloe! Oh my god, what's going on here? Here she is. What's Hi, happening? Guys. Chloe. I asked everybody to come over today. This is really hard for me to say. This is a joke. But I want you to know. What is this? Like, you, you can we're here more than lost. No, we are here to tell you that it's oh, okay for you to tell me if you're sick. Like mentally sick? First of all, you guys are all freaking nuts, and I'm so sorry all you guys had to come out here. Hisoka ended up getting really offended. He took off all his gone merch out of pure shame because I embarrassed him in front of everyone by implying that he needed mental help. Now he's too insecure to wear his gone merch at all. My plan worked out perfectly LMFAO. I keep implying to Hisoka that he has problems because of his gone obsession. I pretend like I'm actually worried about him to make it seem like the situation is much more serious than it actually is. I hope that after this, anytime he sees gone he'll start crying. Then I'll know that I've won. I mean, I think you need to deal with these things. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. Even if you are awkward and uncomfortable. I think I'm literally gaslighting him at this point. If you know how I feel, why would you say that? Like, you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know I'm not happy. You know I'm trying. <laughs> Should I feel bad that I ended up turning Hisoka into an emotionally unstable mess? Because I really don't. LMFAO keep crying, bitch boy. You guys don't really care about Illumi's business, do you? I'll answer that for you. No, you don't. What you should care about is me. And my buddy Chad here. Chad had a great idea. Chad said I should return to Gon's house. We started it, now we're finishing it, bitches. Oh, also. We found this drippy Gon merch in the trash. This merch is sick as fuck, am I right? Chad, who the fuck said you could wear any of my Gon merch? Hand over the fanny pack, bitch.